So now let me show you guys one of my favorite MLK clips. This is on the issue of riots and violence. Many in moments of deep bitterness engage in riots. And let me say, as I've always said, and I will always continue to say, that riots are socially destructive and self-defeating. I'm still convinced that non-violence is the most potent weapon available to oppress people in their struggle for freedom and justice. I feel that violence will only create more social problems than they will solve, and that in a real sense it is impractical for the Negro to even think of mounting a violent revolution in the United States. So I will continue to condemn riots and continue to say to my brothers and sisters that this is not the way. Continue to affirm that there is another way. But at the same time, it is as necessary for me to be as vigorous in condemning the conditions which cause persons to feel that they must ga engage in riotous activities as it is for me to condemn riots. I think America must see that riots do not develop out of thin air. Certain conditions continue to exist in our society which must be condemned as vigorously as we condemn riots. But in the final analysis, a riot is the language of the unheard. A riot is the language of the unheard. Pure genius. Because what he did is he condemned both the riots, because violence always creates more problems than it solves, but he also condemned the conditions that led to the riots. He's saying the riots did not happen in a vacuum. And in the minds of a lot of ignorant white people, particularly in the South, particularly the more conservative people, they are inclined to believe that, well, it's just in the nature of the black people to be angry and to be violent, so there's really no rational basis for them acting in this way. This is just the rowdy Negroes uh, causing trouble again. And Martin Luther King comes along and he goes, no, 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 no. You don't get it. See, I'm with you. There should be no violence because I'm against violence as a matter of principle. But the thing that led to the riots was your violence against the black community. You're refusing to look in the mirror and criticize yourselves in any serious way. All you're doing is criticizing black people. See, that's the thing about MLK, which made him so incredible, is that on so many issues, his logic was impeccable. Because there's no rebuttal to that. When you go up to the powerful people and you say, hey guys, guess what? I'm with you. I'm with you in the sense that riots are bad, violence is wrong. I condemn it uh, unconditionally, 100%. You know what else I condemn? The conditions that led to the riots. There is no rebuttal to that. There's no logical response to that because that's a checkmate thing to say because it's true all across the board. He's being consistent. He's like, look, I'm against uh, violence in riots. I'm also against all the violence and the systemic abuse and s segregation that led to this problem, led to the riots. So what you had with MLK, you had somebody who could go to the white establishment and basically say to them, you could either deal with me or you can deal with somebody who's a much hard liner than I am. You want to deal with me or you want to deal with, I don't know, say the Nation of Islam? You want to deal with Elijah Muhammad and you want to deal with Malcolm X, who's been calling for black nationalism? They want you to lob off a, a, a portion of the U.S., give them a nation, and then basically uh, give them their due and pay them back for the 400 years of slavery and then the years of segregation and make them start up their own separate nation? And you want them to use their tactics, which Malcolm X has been clear from day one. He said, look, we believe in the right to self-defense across the board, and we're at a position right now where the acts of the white people against black people 
basically by any means necessary, the black people can respond because they're so oppressed and they've been the victims of so much violence. So what do you want? Do you want to deal with Malcolm X who's ready for a revolution and who's pushing for a revolution? Or do you want to deal with me who's calling for integration, who's calling for nonviolence across the board, and who's calling for a, a, a dream, a vision of the U.S., which calls for a future where black kids and white kids go to the same school, black kids and white kids are friends, black kids and white kids can stand together and discuss the same issues and can be neighbors and all these things. Who do you want to deal with? Those are your choices. You have no other choices. You either deal with me or you deal with the Nation of Islam or people who are much more hardliners who are re ready and willing to break some windows on small businesses and do property damage and do more riots in the streets. Who do you want to deal with? You know what the answer is to that? Fuck, okay, Martin. We'll deal with you. And then what ended up happening? It, it's very similar, by the way, to how it worked with apartheid in South Africa. How Nelson Mandela made the same argument. He's like, look, do you want to deal with me or do you want to deal with the rioters? We can come to some sort of uh, peace deal here, but you have to give us rights and we have to have equal opportunity. That's what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said. He said, look... Uh, I'm willing to negotiate with you, but there are some things that are non-negotiable. Segregation is going to come to an end. We're going to have voting rights. We're going to have voting rights. We're going to have civil rights. We're going to have uh, schools that have black kids and white kids. Those are non-negotiable. Anything after that, sure, we'll have a conversation, but those are non-negotiable. So what happened? He was right from the beginning. <laughs> when you're right from the beginning, it's hard to lose the argument, and it's hard to lose in the long run. Just like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, the arc of history is long, but it bends towards justice. Because of great men like him, yes it does.